Here we go again with another hurricane. This one's called Idalia, and it's bearing down on Florida. And it looks like it's going to go just north of us, which last time with Hurricane Ian, we got really lucky because it went in south of us, which sucked all the water out of our marina and spared us from the big storm surge that they got. Oh my gosh, look at this. Where is our boat? Insane. The water is just being sucked out of here. But this time, this Idalia is going north of us, which means we're going to get a storm surge. It's calling for a three to five feet storm surge with up to seven feet in our area. And that's really our biggest worry. Now this is what a real high tide looks over here. This is like the morning of the day the storm should get here tonight. So look at these, how they're right. So if the water got three feet higher, it might not even be up into the parking lot. Well, it probably would be. So we'll see what happens. We're supposed to get a surge. And if this goes up real high, it looks to me like this could go up another three feet or five feet easily. So I let this line out a whole lot so that the boat could rise up five feet or if it had to, I think, I hope. So everything's all ready. There's Susie. She's ready to go. So high up today. Oh a few of you have been contacting us about where we have been. And believe me, it's just been too hot here in August in Florida. We just don't do much on the boat. So we're taking a break. I can't really get over there and work on it right now, but we'll be back. We came to the boat to get a few things, secure some lines and, uh, you know, things like our little lights that we have in there that we might need at home and our foul, foul weather gear. All right, well, nothing big here right now. The water's kind of lower because it's lower tide. Tonight, the hurricane should get hit Florida, and this should go way up. It's kind of like this, the calm before the storm again. Not too much going on here. Like always, it's only maybe, I don't know, not many people in sailboats and other boats take even take their bimini tops down. There's some bimini tops still up, and you could easily just fold those down. Look at all the tape on the seats of that boat. The big thing with this one isn't the wind so much, it's that it's the the surge and if you're tied upright to be able to have your boat go up way higher than this, like the tide can get two feet taller than this and they're saying we might get three to seven feet above that. That might be up to that wall, let's say, or higher. People really hauled their boats out. This is a lot of the smaller boats though that people have trailers for. Do you think it's because of the possible storm surge? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we're going to leave now, and it's about, uh, I don't know, 4.30. Let's come back later at high tide when the surge is supposed to be here and see what the difference is. Places, look at the road, just is the water up there. Can't even drive down this road. Super windy here. Really windy. The water level is really high. Turn around. The water is just coming into the road right now. Downtown Clearwater.
We had to wait a little while until the water receded so we could walk on this dock. Jeez, look at this. Holy cow. Seems like it's okay. It's only gonna go about a foot higher. Here's an example, like look at these lines here are tight on this boat. They're just tight. It's pulling the front of that boat down. Look at the boat ramp. Funny, huh? Just level. These these uh, walkways that pitch themselves up real high on the floating docks. Morning. Morning. The water's come down a little bit. This was a little deeper before, but high tide is in maybe like two hours. But I think the water might be receding at the same time the tide's coming in. These guys' lines are real tight on this one. Love this little precision sailboat here, so cool. We used to get on that dock when not enough was right out here and <laughs> paddleboard off that to get to not enough. Look at this. Oh boy. We're so lucky that this wasn't a direct hit and all we got was a few feet of storm surge. I hope you enjoy the video and kind of get a little peek at what it's like to experience a hurricane in Florida. See you next time. Holy cow.